Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 9, Part 3, the finale. We're going to start off in the item shop this time. Roll's item shop, you can uh, get to it by just going to the uh, bottommost icon of the stage select screen, and you have access to lives, E-Tanks, Mystery Tanks, Eddie Calls, Beat Calls, Energy Conservers, Energy Weapon Converters, Conservers things, uh, Half Damage items, items like you hit spikes, costumes for Roll, and hairstyles for Mega Man. Very useful to go here before the Wily Castle. Make sure you buy at least, at least buy the energy converter. The thing that lets you not have to worry about switching your weapons out in order to actually heal their weapon energy bars. You know what I mean? You probably don't know what I mean because I rambled on. I, kind of, I just rambled on a little bit there. It's the first thing I bought. Make sure you buy that before going to the Wily Castle at least and make sure you collect at least one energy tank. If you couldn't get it in Plug Man stage, or if you had to use it during Plug Man stage, at least, at least, at least, at least, at least, at least, buy one E-Tank for going to the Wily Castle. This is a classic Wily Castle. That means you have to conserve, conserve, conserve your weapon energy. Unlike other Mega Man games, you don't get to go back to the stage select screen in between stages. In the Wily Castle, you are stuck in the Wily Castle until you are finished with the Wily Castle. Whatever weapon energy you waste in Stage 1 is still wasted in Stage 2. Keep that in mind. It is crucially important, especially in this Wily Castle, to conserve your fucking weapon energy from stage to stage. Now, thankfully, there are ways to, you know, actually make it easier on yourself. The fact is, there is a mystery tank in the third stage of this Wily Castle. I bought a mystery tank from the shop. I didn't have to buy a mystery tank from the shop. I know how to get the mystery tank in stage three very, very easily. A lot of people know how to get the mystery tank in stage three very, very easily. Get it. Because you are going to need it for the boss rematches. You're going to need it for the Dr. Wily fight. This castle is... It's not, it's not actually that difficult in comparison to a lot of the other castles in the you know, classic series. It's not easy, and it demands that you continuously switch out your weapon energy all the time. Your, uh, your special weapons all the time. But it's not... It's not as dickish as the King Castle for Mega Man and Base. by no stretch of the imagination. It's not as easy as the castles in Mega Man 8 or Mega Man 6. This is your average difficulty castle. This, again, the reason why this is the perfect entry game for newcomers to the Mega Man series, not too difficult, not too easy. This point I'm about to come up to, by the way, is the perfect point to refill all your weapon energy without having to waste a mystery tank or an E-Tank. All, all your weapon energy and your health can be refilled here without having to waste an E-Tank or a mystery tank. You can just use Jewel Satellite here and just keep running back and forth. I cut most of it because, you know, it takes a while for this stuff to spawn for me because I was really unlucky. This bit, just use Rush Coil. The next bit kind of demands you use Rush Coil again, but you can cheat it by just using Rush Jet the way I do here. You have to use Rush Jet immediately, though. If you don't, then you're dead. Remember, this lava kills you immediately. Okay? Castle, not too difficult, not too easy, but it doesn't fuck around. Not at all. 
Let me talk about that uh, cutscene from part two, though, the last cutscene from part two. I mentioned that it changes a little bit depending on which robot you meet last. Basically, you saw silhouettes of the of seven of the eight robots. The only robot whose silhouette you didn't see is whichever robot you beat last. So if I beat Magma Man seventh and Tornado Man eighth, then Tornado Man's silhouette wouldn't be there because we're watching the cutscene from his point of view. If I beat Galaxy Man last, his silhouette wouldn't be there because I'm watching the cutscene from his point of view. You know, that's the whole point of getting the memory circuit board. If I beat Splash Woman last, not only would I be watching from her, from her point of view and not see her silhouette, but I, we wouldn't be seeing his circuit board, we'd be seeing her circuit board. So, little changes like that, but there are changes. First boss of the Wily Castle. Spike Ball Pushers. Very, very easy. Very, very easy. Unique. That's what I like about them. They're not difficult, and they're a very unique fight. Basically, they have two phases that you can choose to allow to happen or not allow to happen. Phase one, they're focused on just pushing the spike ball to, to the left side of the screen. If they succeed in doing that, they're going to stop pushing that spike ball altogether and just start shooting at you with pink arrows. There are two types of spike ball pushers, blue spike ball pushers and pink spike ball pushers. Pink spike ball pushers only shoot once in a while, but they're charged shots. And blue spike ball pushers fire continuously, but they are small pellet shots. Focus on the pink, on the, uh, I was gonna say the pink ones, but focus on the bottom two first. And just alternate between the top two and the bottom two, depending on when the top two actually manage to push their spike balls to the end and start focusing on shooting you. Once the spike ball pushers focus on shooting you, that's about the time when you want to shift your attention to those particular spike ball pushers and destroy one of them. Because once you destroy one of them, the new one that comes in to replace them goes back to a phase one, which is just focusing on pushing the spike ball, which is what you want, because if they're pushing the spike ball, they're not shooting at you. So that's the strategy to them. They're not that bad, very, very easy. Very unique though, very fun. Castle Stage 2 continues with what Castle Stage 1 was all about, which is just forcing you to break out every single one of your special weapons for something. Those blocks, I'm not going to destroy this yet, I, I destroy it later on in the stage. Those can only be destroyed with Laser Trident, or I can just use Rush Jet to get across. There's going to be occasions later on where actually, in the, in the uh, next screen, there's an occasion where you want to use Tornado Blow to get these... Um, fake platform generating film robots off the screen, because if you can do that, then you don't have to worry about guessing which platform is the fake platform and which platform is the real platform. Just because they generate platforms doesn't mean they're real platforms at all. There's still gaps, like, see that there? That's still a gap. That's still a gap too. Both those uh, sets of platforms those film robots created are, are just gaps. They're, there's just actual gaps. They're just doing that to give you the illusion that there's platforms there. There's no platforms there. Don't be fooled by them. Destroy them as quickly as possible so you don't have to deal with the illusion and, you know, just be on your merry way. I think stage two is the longest of the castle stages. I don't, I don't think stage three is as long as, a, is as long as stage two. Even has a mini boss. The mini boss from Hornet Man's stage. Remember to keep conserving your weapon energy all the time in the castle. You are going to need it when you get to Dr. Wily, because Dr. Wily requires a plethora of special weapons in order to properly combat. Plus, you want to be able to go through the rematches at a reasonable, easy pace. Don't do what I did. Don't bother with the seed tank. It's easy to get, but then you hit the spikes and you fucking die. And you know, it's just annoying. It's just don't go for that E-Tank. You're probably still gonna have your E-Tank from Plugman's stage. Ideally you would still have your E-Tank. Even then, you don't really need an e tank. I know I buy an e tank. 
in the shop before I went to the Wily Castle. Really though, if you manage to keep your E-Tank for Plugman stage, that's all the insurance you'll need. That is literally all the insurance you will need. The best you can do in this uh, castle, in my opinion, is only using one Mystery Tank. That's during the Wily fight. But I wasn't that confident, because I haven't played Mega Man 9 in a long time. It's This, this isn't a blind run, because obviously I know how to play Mega Man 9, and I've played Mega Man 9 a lot, especially on the Wii. But I haven't played it in a while. So why you see me act a little uh, nervous about some jumps, or about some things that normally I'd be more confident of, but wasn't in this playthrough, because I haven't played Mega Man 9 in a while. This was actually supposed to be my... Uh, test run, my, my test playthrough, but it came out good enough that I just made it my main playthrough. Just, you know, kept it. It was supposed to be just be a test playthrough to test how the Elgato worked, make sure it came out okay. But, you know, the gameplay was solid enough that I was comfortable making this my, uh, my main playthrough, so. It's not my best playthrough. I finished the game in uh, 52 minutes, which is okay, but, you know, people beat this game. 20 minutes or 10 minutes. My best is uh, about 40 minutes. Not a super time, but pretty good considering I didn't use special weapons for pretty much anybody during that particular 40 minute run through. Yeah. Anyway, boss number two, Shark Tank. Not the show, the machine. A giant fucking shark tank that Dr. Wily has stored away in his castle. Has three phases. Phase one, shoots its back rockets at you. They home in on you. Be careful. They can be destroyed with a pellet shot. The weakness of this phase is the laser trident. The weakness of all three phases is laser trident, although I don't recommend you use it during phase two. In fact, during phase two, you should use the magma bazooka, which is a charged weapon. You can shoot it, you know, just normally and it's respectable, disrespectable damage, it's fine, but if you charge it, you actually shoot uh, three giant flames, three giant uh, flame fireballs that Magma Man was able to shoot during your boss fight with him. Just keep raining blows on this, make small jumps so you don't hit the spikes on top, spikes on top don't kill you in one hit. They don't kill you in one hit, but they do a lot of damage. Avoid the little sharks, destroy the little uh, containers that deploy the sharks, and move on to the head. The head of the shark tank is just a giant fucking laser cannon. Does a lot of damage. Keep raining laser trident down on it and you will finish it fast enough. This is a war of attrition. It's either gonna kill you very fast or you will kill it very fast. Make sure you have enough laser trident to finish it off. And that's it. That's boss two. Let's move on to the last real stage of Mega Man 9 because the final stage of Mega Man 9 is a very short little section and then the boss rematches and the, the Wily fight and that's it. But this, this is the last real stage of the game. And it introduces a pretty cool gimmick actually. I was impressed that uh, this Wily Castle, Mega Man 9's Wily Castle, was able to still keep introducing new gimmicks in its final stages and introduce new enemies. Not that many new enemies, but new enemies. Like uh, like the giant sleeping Gutsman-like enemy that drops his shield on you and then shoots pellets. That's, that's a pretty cool original new enemy that you don't see anywhere else in the game. There's a new variation of mech tools that we'll be seeing very soon. That's also pretty cool. And new gimmicks like, like this, this anti-graph section where basically you always go straight up and depending on which direction you shoot your Mega Buster will depend on which direction you actually fly around in anti-gravity. Shooting more than one pellet shot in a particular direction will ensure you go faster, you know, momentum, that's a thing. That they take into account during this stage, that's, that's pretty cool. Now they still introduce new gimmicks this late into the game. In the final actual main stage of the game. In the next stage even, there's new gimmicks. And that, that's pretty cool. That. I like Mega Man 9, not my favorite in the series, but this is the perfect, perfect entry to get into the series. It's really something special. They really knocked it out of the park for this one. As they should have, because if this game failed, then, you know, Mega Man's still 
you know, not doing anything right now, but it would have failed even earlier, like 10 years earlier, if this game wasn't any good. Thank God it was, though. Don't bother actually fighting Sniper Joes, by the way. Oh, excuse me, gotta move my chair. Don't bother fighting Sniper Joes. They're annoying, they're fast. The shield deflects pretty much everything. Just use Black Hole Bomb or Tornado Blow, just get them out of the way. You need to deal with them. Remember the anti-grav sections? It's all about momentum, and now they actually have those uh, Galaxy Man crane enemies that grab you and move you in a direction. Oh, man. This is, this is a really cool gimmick. Man, I, watching this, I am just liking this game more and more again. Still not my favorite. Make sure you get all the way to the end for this last screen. And grab yourself a mystery tank. You, you can only hold one mystery tank at a time. That's why I used mine right there. <clears throat> if, you don't if you didn't have a mystery tank at all, then, uh, you know... You can just grab it and be happy that you'll have something for the uh, for the final stage. Maybe later on in this stage, you never know, when you have to actually use the mystery tank. <sighs> that mystery tank is the reason the Wild Castle is so easy. In comparison to other Wild Castles, it's because there's actually a free mystery tank for you to, uh, to grab. And it's pretty late in the castle, so once you actually use it, there won't be that much left, probably just boss fights. So, you know, you'll be in a prime position to finish the game without having to worry about running out your weapon energy and having a tough time with bosses. I can also say how cool it is that there are net tools that imitate uh, lives, that imitate one-ups. Having a little Mega Man head, but then just having it pop up with the little met tool eyes and having them shoot you. That's pretty cool. You're going to see one right here. I saw a couple of them earlier, but... <laughs> It's a really, it's a really cool little uh, variant of the Metals. Even now, this late in the game, they're still introducing new Metal variants. It's, it's nice. It's just a good Wily Castle. And a good fucking game. But now we enter into the last regular boss fight of the game. This is the Yellow and Green Devil Blobs. Can't have a Mega Man game without some variation of it, of the Yellow Devil. <sighs> I'm disappointed to say that I fuck up. Badly. I mean... I shouldn't have got hurt as much as I did. I shouldn't have fucked up as much as I did. Yellow and Green Devil Blobs are not difficult. Okay? They're not. I make it look difficult because I fuck up, but they are not difficult at all. Just like the Yellow Devil, they follow a set pattern. They're not fast like the original Yellow Devil, so there's no excuse for me to keep getting hit as much as I get hit. Once you learn what their pattern is and which blobs you have to jump over and which ones you don't, this is the easiest thing. But like I said, I haven't played Mega Man 9 in a while, so I actually forgot the pattern. That's why I die. I forget the pattern, so. <sighs> Thankfully, though, this is my final death. After this, we just go right back to me being a badass and not dying during Mega Man. But until then, fuck! God damn it! enjoying the Benny Hill theme, by the way. I used that during my uh, Mega Man 8 Let's Play. Shameless plug for Let's Play Mega Man 8, the extra video. <sighs> the eye that controls both blobs cannot be hurt until it actually pops out. Now I, I get hit a little bit because I start getting frustrated because of how long this fight's taking. <sighs> but it's not difficult. 
it is not difficult. It's just learning the pattern and being good repetition. But I forgot the pattern, and that's why I died. God bless Mega Man 9. Whatever. Once this blob is dead, we can move on and not have to worry about this blob again. I actually redeem myself next time in the extras video when I take on this blob again, showing off the time attack. Ooh, then this thing will feel my wrath. Not having died at all and getting hit like twice, I think. Great run. More than makes up for the shit show I put here. Until then, though, the blob is dead. The kids are outside, happily playing in the pool. That's why you can probably hear them. As per usual, because I usually do my recording in the summer when they all play outside. And now we move on to the final stage. One straight line down to the skull. No special secret second skull, no special secret third skull somehow. One skull, one last stage, eight robot masters to fight again. One Dr. Wily machine to take on. A new gimmick for this little bit of stage. Lasers. These lasers can be blocked with the concrete shot. I don't recommend using concrete shot that much in this stage though because you are definitely going to want to save as much concrete shot as possible for the Wily machine. Okay? It's weak to the second phase of the Wily machine, so take some hits every now and again. Conserve as much of your concrete shot as possible because you're definitely gonna need it. Don't waste it on Galaxy Man. Just use, take on Galaxy Man with just your Mega Buster. It's easy enough. Save as much of your concrete shot as possible. You're definitely going to want to use it during the Wild Machine. Okay? I'm saying okay, like I think you can respond. But you can't respond. I'm recording this in a vacuum in my room. That isn't really a vacuum because you can hear children playing outside, so. Not a super studio. Oh well. Water chaser. Gives me back a life. It's like I never lost a life. Like I never, ever embarrassingly died during the yellow and green demo blobs. Let's just pretend it didn't happen. Let's pretend it didn't happen. Pretend it didn't happen. Enjoy this montage. And I'll see you when it's time to take on Wiley. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that montage. Hope you took note of what the weaknesses of all the Robot Masters were. If not, then feel free to go to the montage again yourself and, you know, take note of what the weaknesses of every Robot Master is. Welcome to Wily Machine number nine. We're back. This is it, the final battle. 
Phase one has no weaknesses except for its own grenade eggs that it shoots. Your job is to knock it back three times into the wiling machine. Each time it knocks back into the wiling machine, it will crack. The third time it knocks into it, it will explode. You want to try and get them to explode on the lower jaw of the skull. If not, it will do no damage, but if you, if you manage to get the grenade to hit the lower jaw of the skull, it will do damage. So, you know, just a game of hot potato. Game of hot potato between you and Wily. Not terribly difficult. It does require skill. It does require you being patient, waiting for the perfect opportunity. Pretty unique to have a first phase of a boss that can't actually take damage normally. You have to do something special in order to actually damage it. Not something you'll see in most other Mega Man games. Pretty cool. Also time consuming if you're not good at the uh, the timing like I am. You want to get the you want to make sure the egg is a fair distance away before you actually uh, start knocking it back. Otherwise, there's a good chance it's not going to hit the lower jaw. Like you're seeing what's happening here. I'm not getting the egg far enough away, so that's why most of the time it's not hitting the jaw. But I hit the jaw enough times. Skull is destroyed, revealing Wily. This is now phase two of Wily Machine number nine. Weakness is the concrete shot. Black hole bomb is useful, not for damaging the machine, but for observing, for observing, for absorbing his uh, flamethrower. Basic strategy. You want to dodge his flamethrower in some way, either by dot, either by jumping over it, or by using black hole bomb. He will then fly up to the top of the screen. He's going to hover there, track you down. You want to run to the right side, stay there for a few moments until Wily hovers above you, ready to land on you. Get out of his way. He will then shoot a flamethrower shot at you. He's then going to charge all the way to the right side of the screen, going to shoot another flamethrower shot at you. Use black hole bomb, just done, or just jump over it, whatever works for you, go ahead. Pretty fast paced, second form. It's not going to take that long for him to kill you or for you to kill him. Just make sure you use the weakness and it'll be fine. Final phase, the Wily Capsule, weak to the plug ball. Your basic Wily Capsule has two attacks. Besides teleporting all over the room, it's going to shoot some spark shots at you. Three of them travel on the ground, three of them travel up the ceiling. It's going to shoot its classic uh, four energy balls of doom at you that will, you know, try to hit you. Just. Make sure you're a fair distance away, and you will be able to easily dodge over those four energy blue balls. <laughs> See those blue balls? You just dodge over them. Just jump over them like that. You'll teleport in and out, just use plug ball, you'll be fine. Compared to most Wily Capsules, this is pretty easy. That's it! We beat Mega Man 9, and we beat Mega Man 9's final boss in less than 180 seconds. We got the evidence back. We finished the game. Enjoy the final cutscene. I will see you all in the credits. See you later. Uh, uh, please forgive me. I want you to see something, Wily. This... This is where you first went wrong. Then this time. And this time. And this time. And this time. Also this time. Let's not forget this time. This time. And this time. Also a bunch of other times I'm not even going to mention. Uh, okay, okay. You beat me again, Mega Man. I, I should tell you. There's something that I was hiding from you. What is it? Well, Dr. Light was taken away by the police, was he not? That wasn't a real officer. It was a fake police robot that I created. Dr. Light is in the next room. But he fell ill, so he's sleeping now. You have to hurry. And, and get him to a hospital. Come with me. This way. 
Dr. Light? <sighs> You're a fool. It's a trap. That's the Dr. Light robot that Wily used to make that, that fake video. Maybe. But there's even a chance that's the real Dr. Light? That I have to help him. Do what you want, then. <laughs> so long, Mega Man. You'll be destroyed along with this castle. <laughs> oh. I'm glad that wasn't Dr. White. <sighs> Looks like you need my help. Again. Mega Man has once again put a stop to Dr. Wily's evil plans. Dr. Light was found to be innocent of all wrongdoing and was able to return to his laboratory. The future holds the promise of peace for the people of Earth. Dr. Wily, however, was nowhere to be found. And that's Mega Man 9, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did. Perfect introductory game to the Mega Man series. Perfect way to get into the series. Maybe not the best game in the series. Purely for, you know, personal reasons. But this is such a well-designed game. So well-paced. I love it. No reason not to like this game. Objectively, the next one is even better. No reason to hate this one, though. Mega Man Nine's great. If you hadn't played it, I completely recommend you do. Until next time, I'm going to sign off now. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.